Welcome to our project called Find Your Modal Car, which is a specially developed search engine prototype. This guide will bring you closer the main functions and features of this prototype. Let's begin with the fact that you can start your search term either by clicking on the Enter key or using the Search button. If we enter the search term Ferrari, we briefly see the smooth loading states, which bridge the waiting time until the data is loaded from the back end. If we enter Ferrari F40, for example, we receive the exact result from the full text database connected with this application and will be displayed on the very top as the most relevant result out of three suggestions. Even if we make a spelling mistake, if we forget the letter R, the Ferrari F40 will still be displayed on top as this is the closest to the search term, in addition to the database with full text search. This incorrect search term will be compared with a second database to get semantically related results. The user does not recognize the harmonious interaction of the two databases. To demonstrate the difference, only in this case we have included a spelling mistake in the semantic search, namely the wrong model in the description. Since Ferrari is still misspelled, the vector database helps us out and comes into action. The search term is converted into a vector and compared with the numerical values of the entry. Therefore, the wrong description is displayed here to demonstrate that the vector database is doing its job. But if everything is spelled correctly, then the full text search database will help us out and display the correct description now. Each vehicle is labeled with a picture made from us, the name of the car, and its year of release. There is also a description with information about the model as well as the approximate value. The search term is displayed in real time at the top of the URL. It is important that even if the page is going to be reloaded, the product is still displayed in the browser so that the search can be continued. By using both databases, this search application has the advantage that we can narrow down the search environment as well. If we search for Italian car, for example, we come across to the three most frequently searched models. If we also enter Alfa Romeo, we narrow down the search radius even further. And last but not least, if we add 1993, we get the model that most closely matches our search parameters. If you click on a car, you will see its exact unique ID in the URL, which is of course identical for both databases. Caching ensures that the search term and the three relevant results are not deleted when you click on the back button. So you can easily continue with the search. Each model can be clicked on where you can see the car even better from the side, front and rear. The information is also more detailed with value and the release date plus the description we know from the preview. Furthermore, it is noted down below if a model is licensed or not. There is also a contact us button at the bottom. A click on it does open the email window and you can contact us directly if you want to find out more about the model. Or at the end, if there is a possibility that we can organize the model for you via our shop. Stay tuned when we integrate the final version of this application into our website on toycarsatic.club later this year.